What made you living in an RV? Honestly, I didn't like the bills of living in a house and I also like to travel. Uh, I kind of live a nomadic lifestyle where I feel uncomfortable sitting still in one place for so long. So that accompanied with having less bills and being more self-sufficient and independent and be able to go off grid. That was what brought me into the RV life. Anyo Haseo Chaidamun Allen. Um my fiance and I we've been living in an RV for a little over a year now. Uh December this year will be uh two years. Um I've been doing some changes inside, but I haven't really changed a whole lot. A lot of what's in there is all still original. I've got an original generator, refrigerator, all the utilities, um just about anything you could want living outside of a house. I'm from Michigan. Michigan. Yep. Are you, I'm, I'm sorry, but are you American? Yes, I am. But uh, your pronunciation is a little different. It's hmm? like a Boston accent. It sounds like it's Boston. a speech impediment I was born with. Give me an accent. <laughs> sorry. I'm from someplace. Uh, sorry. Born and raised in Michigan. Moved across the country. I've lived in six other states besides mm. this one. So okay. travel around. Been in an RV in Colorado and now here in Washington. Okay, with uh, your fiance? Yeah, with my fiance. So Where is she now? Two of us. She's inside. Oh, okay. So we'll meet know. her here in a minute, and we've got a little kitten inside. Uh, okay, so what made you? What made you living in an RV? Honestly, I didn't like the bills of living in a house, and I also like to travel. I, I kind of live a nomadic lifestyle where I feel uncomfortable sitting still in one place for so long. So that accompanied with having less bills and being more self-sufficient and independent and be able to go off grid. That was what brought me into the RV life. Okay, then do you work? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm a chef, so wherever I go, I can usually find a kitchen job. Uh huh. So, you, are you working now? Right now, yeah, I work at the Highway 101 Dino here in Squim. Okay, thank you. What about your fiance? My fiance? No, she doesn't work. She stays at home full time. Okay. So I make enough money to be able to support the both of us in an RV. Uh, I really wouldn't be able to in a house with mortgage and utilities and all of that. Being in the RV and not having that really allows me to be able to afford to support the both of us and actually live. Go out and do things and go hiking and swimming and beaching and you know, all that good stuff. You know, I'm 30 years old so... I've been here and there and even as an adult living with roommates it's still constricting in some senses whereas this is 100% whatever I want to do wherever I want to go that's what I do. RV it's a 1990 so it's an older one so I've been working on various projects I'm remodeling the bathroom right now when we go inside you'll see I tore out the tub and uh, I'm building storage in there. I want to build a uh, tow along that's got a washer, dryer, and a shower in it. And for right now, for showering, we just go to like truck stops and gyms or we have friends in the area. So we're, you know, covered on that. You bought a used one. Yeah. I actually got a really good deal on it. I bought it with less than 57,000 miles on it. I had about 56,500 miles on it and I got it for 5,000. 5,000. And I put about a thousand into it in projects and working on. And no issue with that? No, no major issues. Um, leaking, of course, with an older model, the roofs do tend to leak here and there. It's kind of a chasing thing. A leak will pop up and you'll fix it, and a couple months will go by, and another leak will pop up and fix it. And eventually, I'll have the money and the time to be able to redo the whole roof. That is on my list of projects to do. But aside from that, I haven't really had any issues with it. So right here, we have the access for the propane. Uh -huh. It's got a 15-gallon propane tank in it. OK. And that's the refill. That's the original propane tank that was on it when it was built. As far as I'm aware, it hasn't ever been changed out. This is a storage unit, a uh, storage cubby. It's got uh, uh, like my jack in it and the uh, 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 rod to switch my awning in and out. Mm -hmm. The original thing, that's one thing that I that did break on me. The original uh, uh, pull cord dry rotted, so I replaced it with a cord of my own. Is it manual? Yes, it's manual. 
Um, this is another, this actually goes inside. I have a table in here with two benches and this goes into the storage space underneath one of the benches. Okay. So I can put tools and stuff in here and I can access it from inside or outside. Right here's my fresh water fill. I've got about a 25 gallon thing in here to catch fresh water in my drain. Okay. I light it to the roof. I don't really have anything significant up there yet. I do want to get solar, but I don't have it at the moment. Mm -hmm. Run over this way. Use the access to the fridge. Again, it's the original fridge that was in there. Uh -huh. So if I have any problems with the electrical or want to switch it from electric to gas and uh, my button inside doesn't work, I can come out here and do it manually. My shore plug-in, <laughs> and that's to plug in and get electricity. Right here is my um, water heater. It's a gas water heater, but it has an electric starter. Okay. And this is the original water heater that came with it. Mm -hmm. and that's all you can really see of it. Yep. Right here's my generator. And I have a button that can start it right here or inside. Mm -hmm. So I can start it from inside without having to come out. Is it diesel? Oh no, it's gas. Okay. It's uh, hard lined right into the gas line of the RV itself. Okay. So whatever I put gas in the RV, it gases my generator as well. And that's just another storage unit that's mm -hmm. got more tools and stuff in it. Yeah. The over cab, of course, uh, it's, um, Ford engine, 7.25 liter, I do believe. 7.25 or 7.3, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, that pretty much covers everything on the outside. Okay, thank so you. if you guys wanna step on in. Oh yeah, I got my stuff here, I'll go ahead and pull out. In here is where the water tank is. I've got these switches here. Mm -hmm. One of them's for this light. Okay. And the other one is for a light heel mm -hmm. to be able to see the steps. Yep. And we'll come in. I've replaced the toilet. That's a brand new toilet, but the sink's original. Mm -hmm. The sink top, all of that. As you can see, I'm in the process of remodeling, gonna replace the walls and mm -hmm. uh, build a... Um, little razor here and I'm gonna build storage in here. Normally there'd be a shower here, but I'm gonna build a separate shower. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna build a separate thing that I'll pull with me mm -hmm. and that'll have my shower, my washer, and my dryer in it. This is my fiance, Lauren. Hi. Lauren. He's a baby. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So Say cute. Hi. We just got her a couple of days ago. So Friend of ours had a little and... So cute. Okay, thank so you. So yeah, this is our... Dine, uh, dining room table area. This comes down and becomes mm. a bed. Mm -hmm. So it's a yeah. one bed heel. And then, um, of course, our freezer, fridge, and furnace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right here is Stove, bed. Mm -hmm. oven. Yeah. And then, of course, storage spaces, dishes uh, and stuff in here. I keep my spices and snacks yeah. up there. I don't nice really run tight. the oven because I use the propane okay. for this burner. Mm -hmm. So my oven, I use a storage. That's all my yeah. sweets and That's candies. Your second <laughs> pantry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, if we want something like candy, sweet, we, she's a hardcore sweet tooth. So hardcore. there's her sweets <laughs> there, and then I've got my salties up here. So one of y'all is salt and one of y'all is sweet. Huh? Pretty much, yeah. All right, and then we got one. storage in here is just clothes and stuff. It goes all the way down mm -hmm. and then more clothes over there. Yep, that folds yeah. down from a couch into a bed. So there's a second bed mm -hmm. and then there's a third bed up there and that's the queen size. That's where we usually sleep. Mm -hmm. And then my battery bank is under here mm -hmm. where I have my, um, I actually have three batteries under here. I have one battery that's for my, uh, hooked to my fuse box. And then I have two other batteries with another inverter on it that powers my TV. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much all it powers is my TV and my PlayStation and this fan. People used to come out to heal and it's not enough space. I hit my knee on this all the time. So, so I shortened down. it, so now we have this space. Well, that was a good idea. You can't and really tell too much. No, I not really. I had well on my knee for the longest time from it. So how long have y'all been together and where'd y'all meet? What is it, almost three years? Yeah, we've been together. This December will be three years. Yeah. Uh, we met in Michigan. We and started a job, job together. <laughs> yeah. uh, she was a front end manager and I worked in the deli. 
and uh, we met and started hanging out and she ended up taking another job someplace else and we ended up together dating. We were both hardcore don't date other employees. <laughs> yeah, we not we're, do that. Neither, we don't date, you know, and co-workers kind of thing. So when she got another job, we ended up getting together and we've been together ever since. And you still like each other? Yeah, Sometimes. most days. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, for the two of us, this has it's been perfect. really nice. It's I perfect. mean, there's some things I kind of want to do, like these chairs bo don't both get used, so I kind of want to take one out and shift this down so that I can open up a space here to put like a hook to hang jackets and stuff because you mm -hmm. notice when you come in there's not really any good place to hang a jacket and have it readily available right. getting in and out of the closet with all the jackets in there gets tedious so usually it ends up like this and just thrown on this and <laughs> you know Obviously, we don't have kids yet, but one of these chairs is going to turn into a rocking yeah, chair. Yeah, turn that one into a rocker and then shift it down, and this will become a the crib. crib. Yeah, because it turns into a bed. Cool. So you living in this RV is satisfied? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, very much so. Oh yeah, it's probably the best decision we've ever made. Apple, are you willing to buy a new RV or yeah, a house? I think so. Yeah. I would probably go for an RV again over a house. We like being able to travel from place mm. to place. But if you buy an RV, as time goes by, it's depreciation. Yep. But well, if you buy a house, then it'll go up. I guess the... what I'd have to say to that is the thing with value is mm. sentimental value never depreciates. Mm -hmm. Financial value mm -hmm. depreciates. Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling like this, because you are a young oh, guy, yeah. young couple. So mm -hmm. for the future, is it better for buying a house than RV? Not Honestly, really, because most people RV. think a house is, um, uh, like people get mortgages on the house and they treat their house as a, um, as a means to make money. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, it's there not you go. like an cost. Yeah. Yeah. But instead of most people think that they can use their house as value or the value of the house to increase their money, but it doesn't work like that. Houses are cost. And, mm. With an RV, you once you bills. get situated, yeah. you don't have that cost. Not only that, but you have the fear if you have a mortgage, that bank can take your house. If you buy an RV outright, nobody can take that from you. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry. Like, uh, we own it outright. We don't, we're not making payments on them. We There's nobody to who's going to come and repo yeah, it from us. It's all 100% like in my name. So it feels more secure. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And the Even fact if, that if something happens in town or we run into like people we don't get along with, we can pick up and move just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, something You happens. can have new neighbors all the right. time. Right, exactly. <laughs> After you have babies, then you can change the big army. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Fifth. Yep. <laughs> okay. I think you do what you got to do, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I but mean, you could see definitely. having a child in here, and oh, if yeah, it didn't easily. work, you would do something We can get different. into something yep. bigger, or get into a house or something, absolutely. Easily. But I think we'd be just fine. I know plenty of other sure. people who have two and three kids and a pit bull in an RV this size. Sure. I so, think the biggest thing that helps if we do have a kid is the fact that that turns into a bed and we can easily make it into a crib. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you get a big house and you're miserable, what does it really help? Right. Exactly, you're stuck. Right. If you're not happy in life, it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's another thing, back to what I was talking about, sentimental value. An RV, it has the stability, but it also has the capability of making memories that you can't make in a mm -hmm. house. Hmm. Just a different lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, nomad. Oh. Nomad lad. Yep. Wonderful. Okay, thank you so much, Absolutely. Alan, thank today. You. Showing your beautiful league and share your story. Sure, yeah, sure. for sure. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, you. having us on your channel. Yeah. Have a great one. How do you say bye? 안녕히 계세요. Uh, one more time. 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. 계세요. 안녕. Thank you. Absolutely. Mm. You have a great day.